I think I might actually be becoming that patient mom that I've always wanted to be. My kids are going through so many changes right now. I've got one that's starting to go to like this after school program. My kids are homeschooled, so they don't get to socialize with people outside of their own siblings. And then I've got one that's starting their own business. And then I've got another one that's starting a new relationship. So a lot of changes, a lot of changes. I've been learning how to compromise a lot more, especially with the kitchen area. I cook all of our meals. The kitchen is like my heaven. It's my little safe haven. And so now my third son is starting his bakery delivery service. So he is in there testing recipes all hours of the night. If he's not at work, he's in that kitchen. We also use the kitchen as a dance studio because I have two kids that are into dance. So they do that as they're part of their spiritual work and also because they just really love dance. Dancing is really good for connecting with spirit and for healing trauma. So they love to dance and we journal, make music, meditate, do deep breathing, do nature walks, prayer, all types of stuff to help heal trauma because that's what our main focus is in our home, is healing our bodies and our minds and our spirit from childhood trauma. We all have experienced a lot of it and not just childhood trauma. Me as an adult, I've experienced a lot of trauma and just back to back to back to back and never really taking the time to process those situations, process the feelings behind it or adapt to the change that we've experienced because of those situations. Now that I work for myself and I can be a stay at home mom again, we have the time and the resources to focus all of our energy on healing. And so that's what we do. Cooking our own meals is not just a spiritual act, it is also a act of self-love and a skill that definitely needs to be developed. It freaks me out to see how many people cannot cook. It's like, how do you survive? I'm not staying processed food. I used to eat at McDonald's just like everybody else, but baby, you know better, you do better, like. You know it's missing children in the burgers, right? Allegedly, but. Whole news article, and you can look it up, you can Google it. All you gotta do is type in McDonald's, horse meat, human meat, and see what comes up. So, I have definitely been working on my communication skills, communicating properly when triggered, so that I'm not raising my voice or cutting anyone off, or allowing myself to indulge in unnecessary emotions when one of my kids says something that maybe might trigger an insecurity in my own self. If they're expressing anything to me, I should not be making it about myself. Actively listening, when triggered especially. It's very challenging to listen to someone with an open mind and an open heart, especially if you're just waiting to say what you have to say. So actively listening has also been something that we have all been working on because it's very challenging to change in a family of people who are not willing to change. I'm blessed that we are all working on changing at the same time, but it was not easy to get us here. It was not at all easy to get us here. Oh. I threw my son's speaker out the window one time because he was being disrespectful, in my opinion, with his tone, and I was just not gonna tolerate it, and I didn't wanna hit my son. So I took his boss speaker and threw it out the window, and I said, you next if you don't stop talking to me like that. And I've never had that problem with him again, and that was like four years ago. Sometimes as a parent, as a mom, as a woman, as a person, you just get fed up, and you're not going to accept anyone speaking to you in a certain type of way, especially if you grew that human in your stomach. Wouldn't react that way today, but I can't say, that I wouldn't, let me not say that I wouldn't, but I don't see myself reacting that way today. We definitely have the talks, we do the work, we are not perfect, we still have disagreements, but we have gone from a family that has yelling, screaming, manic episodes, slanting doors, calling police, fighting, to having conversations, doing deep breath work, walking out when we're triggered, talking to each other, going to therapy type stuff not allowing it to get to the next level because we all understand how important emotional intelligence is to your survival and certainly to your success. Compromise has been my greatest tool for keeping my household balanced, making sure that my children aren't just feeling heard but that I'm actually hearing them because I don't wanna miss out on learning about how their mind works and about how they actually feel about stuff. I have to listen and actually care about what they say. And it shows whether or not you care. Compromising, proper communication, and active listening. These are all the things we've been working on and we'll continue to work on until we master it and then we move on to the next thing. Peace.